Hi, welcome back to another session of Anubhav Shah Photography. In this session, we are going to talk about how to create vintage hand tinted effect in Photoshop. And we will quickly see how to convert this to this. Vintage hand tinted effect is very artistic effect in Photoshop. By using this technique, you can really convert your image into an old vintage effect. So let's jump into Photoshop and start the magic. Hello, wonderful people. This is Anubhav Sharma from Anubhav Shah Photography. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, first thing first, let's open Photoshop and open the texture. So for this session, we are going to use this particular texture. You can Google it. And if you don't waste your time, just message us. We are going to send all the details to you right away. And we are going to use this pretty model to create amazing vintage hand tinted photo. So we have this particular model, which I downloaded from unsplash.com and we have this texture. So just double click on the background and convert to the layer. Activate your move tool by pressing V and just drag the image onto the texture. Release it. Do command minus command T to transform. This is very big image. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to drag it and we are going to fit it to the texture size as per our requirements. Okay. This is much better. Just press enter. Just do command A or control A to select all. Go to image and crop and do command D to deselect. Just select this layer. We'll call it model. We'll do command J to make a copy and we'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and we'll make blur somewhere 5 or 5.5. Press OK. Now just simply create the masking. Grab the brush tool, make sure foreground color is selected as black and just select soft round brush. Make hardness all the way zero and make sure your opacity and flow is 100% and make a small click like this. Perfect. Once you have achieved it, just select both the layers, right click, convert to smart object and then go to filter, camera raw filter. And after coming here, just go to effects. And if you're using the old version of Photoshop, Go to the FX, which is the effects and just expand the grains and the vanity. Just make it 80%, make it 50% and roughness somewhere 50%. Now come to the down part. As you see Vignity here, in the old version Photoshop, you will notice it should be amount. So just decrease the amount of Vignity all the way down. Make midpoint somewhere 35. It entirely depends on your image. If you want to increase it, you can just make it 40 or 45. Depends. You can play with these sliders to have a different unique effects. Make feather as 100 and highlights as 100 as well. Press OK. This is perfect. Now just create one vibrance layer and decrease it somewhere 50 or 55. Come to adjustments and just create one black and white layer. You can make this particular layer from this adjustment as I did or I just delete it. There is another way. You just go to this adjustment and go to black and white. One of the same thing. Once you come here, just drag red and yellow all the way up and change its blending mode to difference and just decrease the opacity somewhere 20. And after achieving it, just come to this particular background of texture. Just double click, make it to the layer. We'll call it texture and we'll just drag it to the top. Just change this blending mode to lighten. This is completely fine. Just go to adjustment once again and come to color balance and just increase it to somewhere 20, 22, somewhere like this and just decrease it somewhere 20, 22 as well so that you will have some sort of vintage effect. And this is completely fine. Just select your texture, make a masking. It is optional. If you want, you can do that. Otherwise, you can skip it. Why I'm doing this thing? Because I'm feeling that texture is so much hard and rash towards this particular image. So I'm just going to decrease the effect somewhere from the middle. So I'm going to just select the brush, selecting foreground color as black and decrease the opacity somewhere 30 and decrease the flow somewhere 52 and just click like this. Perfect. All right. So we have achieved so wonderful and beautiful results and we'll quickly see what we have achieved with it. 
We started with this image and we have achieved this wonderful results. So before, after, before, after. This is so amazing. So you can just use this particular technique to change your any image or any kind of portrait into vintage hand tinted effect in Photoshop. And in case you find any difficulty, please come back to us. You're most welcome all the time. So just enjoy and create awesome results. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. All right, so as we have seen how easily and effectively we can achieve vintage hand tinted effect in Photoshop. And by using this technique, you can really achieve wonderful results. And in case you find any difficulty using Photoshop or photography, you can go to our website www.anubhavshaphotography.com or you can comment in comment section. And if you have not subscribed my channel right now, please go and subscribe and hit the bell icon. We'll be back very soon with a fresh dedicated episode for you. Meanwhile, stay fit, stay healthy, be happy. This is Anubhav Sharma from Anubhav Shah Photography signing off.